I was punching my head. You know, I'm repeatedly punching my head. That's what caused that bruise in my temple. Thank you. Now, we went through the Bahamas before, and you returned from the Bahamas sometime. Oh, there it is. Late December, early January. Correct? Okay, we've seen it. Yes. Okay. All right, thank God. I'm going to take you to Do you guys January, see all the February damage there? 2016. Can Holy you please shit. Please describe to the jury what was going on with you and John. Oh, my in God. Time frame after this Do you guys see it? I see it. Bahamas incident. That's brutal. After the Bahamas. Um, yeah, that's a lot of damage. Johnny sobriety. Uh, oh, my felt God. Hurt. There was just none of it. It was. Um, uh, so he stopped communicating with the medical team that he had hired. With those rings on, too, you know? Um, how do you know that? Jesus. Um, I was there. Um, they fired him. Objection. Objection. Calls for hearsay. I'll sustain the objection. Okay. okay. Um, Without telling what the she's lucky to be alive right now, guys. Tell what was going on with you and Johnny? Um, yeah, his uh, his mental health, for lack of what it looked like, his mental health was just falling apart. Is what it looked like. Objection calls for speculation. I'll sustain, I'll sustain the objection. What did you observe that led you to believe that his mental health was falling apart? He was objection, Your Honor. Calls for speculation. No, she can say what she uh, I'll sustain the objection as to leading. Next question. What, if anything, did you observe about Mr. Depp's uh, state? He was hallucinating, auditory. Objection calls for speculation. Uh, uh, he, I, I'll sustain the objection. Please, please tell the jury <laughs> the, the exactly lawyer doesn't even know what to say. You to believe he was she was like, uh, uh, Objection uh, leading. Uh, uh, sustained. What, if anything, was Mr. Depp doing that would have led you to believe he was hallucinating? Same S objection. Uh, oh, my God. Sustained. What? Please describe what Mr. Depp was saying in January of 2016. Uh, he was talking to people who weren't there, meaning people who were not in the room. He was communicating with people and sounds and voices that weren't there. I know because I was sometimes in the room and sometimes on the phone with He's him. He's like, really? I didn't know that. And he would tell me I had a conversation with him that I did not have. He would say I said something uh -huh. that I didn't have. He would comment on somebody being in the room behind me that wasn't there. It was terrifying. It was terrifying because, you know, once he, he smashed a board right next to my face and it was unclear to me whether he was even mad at me or he was convinced that the guy he said he saw me with was in the room. I didn't know if he was in, if Johnny felt the man was in the room with us or not at that the fuck? point. But I remember he, he put his fist through a white, a whiteboard in the kitchen. He hallucinated right in front of me and objection some, calls for speculation did you Don't take a picture of that just describe Sorry. what led you to believe your that. honor okay. objection. Objection. she's punching through walls she testified what she observed please, please thank you all oh, this guy's insane you your observed. honor may we approach okay okay yeah there we go what i love is like there are like all of these like graphic and like just brutal displays as i said it's like john Johnny Depp is like the Elden Lord. If you just listen to her side of it, I mean, you would think <laughs> you would think that she's lucky to be alive. You know what I mean? Like really, I mean, she would be she's lucky to be alive if, if this even could happen. Like, yeah, it's just scary. How's it possible? Just tell the jury what you observed. Multiple miracles. It's a miracle she's um, alive. Yeah. I observe behavior from him that was erratic, irrational, and we'll catch up whenever they go to break to the reality that we were in. Okay. Now I'm going to take you up to the beginning of February of 2016, mm -hmm. February 8, February 9. Please tell the jury what transpired then with respect to Mr. Depp. Uh-huh. Uh, around this time, uh, Johnny was again um, behaving in a way it was very scary. It was terrifying. Um, and sometimes he didn't know. Uh, Objection calls for speculation. I think she can describe what she's observing. What are you, are you describing what you're observing? Yes. Please, okay. Then please continue. Um, in these kind of discussions I would have around this time, early uh, February of 2016, uh, sometimes in the argument, he would accuse me of something. Uh, some person in the room with me that had just walked out or I was hiding. Oh, he's crazy, right. And sometimes he would hold on to that 
even and that's why I'm sure he, he can't remember any of this down or come off of whatever bender he was on and it was almost as if I had to confront what he what delusion he had or what belief he had or what accusation he made of me um, in a new fight altogether you know sometimes he didn't make it clear to me whether he was mad at me or he knew he was mad at me it was terrifying uh, because I bore the brunt of it. And yeah. around I the bet. 8th or 9th, I got, we were in his suites or compound, the West Hollywood collection of homes that he has. Oh, and, the cul-de-sac. Uh, I got some cryptic texts from him. We th threw the dog the out the window. morning hours that scared me. I won't say what I said, but I, I came over to his main house. I believe I'd been across the street and I slept on the couch. Okay. We had some interaction in the morning, which made me fearful. He didn't know whether or not I was fearful. He was going Why is she to dressed like Doctor Evil. Was angry at me. Even That's a good we question. Fighting. I wasn't fighting with him. I I had done nothing wrong, but I was really worried that the momentum he was on was going to click into a direction of deciding that he was mad at me and I deserved it of and I was terrified that that was going to happen so I was I had an interaction with him and got really worried about that on the morning of the 10th all right Michelle I'm going to ask you to bring up defendants exhibit 638 it's already admitted oh, in evidence here we go and this is from February 10 2016 all right boys y'all ready to see I'm it I'm going to ask you to play it Michelle oh is this oh it's audio Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay. There's Johnny. What happened? So he kicked the microwave? He just doesn't want to talk to her. He's just ignoring her. Nothing happened this morning, you know that? Are you in here? No. So then nothing happened to you this morning? Yeah, you're right. I just woke up and you were so sweet and nice. We're not even fighting this morning. All I did was say sorry. The did fuck? Did something happen to you this morning? I don't think so. No, that's the thing. You want to see Craig? Don't give me a fucking Oh, this is the mega pint. Oh, you're crazy. Oh, my God. Did you drop this whole thing this morning? Oh, you got this. You got this going. Oh, really? Really? So she can eat. She does shit on me. No, I didn't. You were smashing shit. Oh, <laughs> so she's trying to record him without him even knowing that. Oh my god. Why did you videotape this, Amber? Yeah, good question. Because I knew he wouldn't remember. Objection, I answer speculation. Sustain? Rather than what you knew, you can say what you thought. Just tell us why you. I was afraid. It was scary. It's scary. I'm scared. I'm scared they wouldn't remember. Objection calls for speculation. It shows a picture. Yeah, yeah it, it's like. All right. So now John found out his friend and colleague so stole I'm millions of dollars from him. I'm going to take you up to April 21, 2016. Yeah, he wasn't even violent towards her at all. Party. He just grabbed now, her phone. Can you please tell the jury what happened that night with respect to, in particular, Mr. Depp? Um, he. <clears throat> He was pissed? Uh, yeah, of course he was pissed. 
at that time we had a like a, a fitting that day or the day before and he missed it and he was kind of disappearing at that time mm -hmm. um, like at night um, vaguely saying like meetings he had meetings but then he'd be gone for sometimes like two days I'm um, just not coming home and that sort of thing coming home after a bender Make calls for speculation. Worse. And was she scared she's laughing at him? I don't know about that. I, I don't think that calls for speculation. I'll, I'll sustain the objection. He's gone for two Yeah, days. true. Shut up. And I um, had my, my birthday was coming up. And was, I, or on my birthday, I said, well, you, you know, you're going to mm -hmm. uh, make it to my, my birthday party. We had a dinner planned at, at our penthouse. I uh, said it would be important for me if you if you made it. Objection, hearsay. It was the morning his mother passed? The truth of the oh, Jesus and Christ. And she's and, recording uh, him for that? He uh, told me oh at some God. point that day that he had scheduled a business meeting or a, a money meeting, I think he said, maybe. Uh, seven. Uh, which is around the time my birthday was planned for. It might have been planned for 8 p.m. Um... He, uh, uh, of course, uh, once my party was starting, he wasn't there. Um, of course, oh sure. To let me know that he was going to make it, but that he was running late, um, and that continued throughout my party. We finished dinner, and um, we were cleaning up, and kind of everyone was delaying leaving because we were waiting for to give him an opportunity to show up before it was before everyone left. Um, and oh, right. He, so it's his um, fault for not showing up to her let, birthday he party. Know he was there. Um, you know, I, I, I tried to, without saying what I said, I tried to give him the impression that I wasn't going to get on him about drinking or anything. I just wanted him to be there. And uh, we had uh, a toast. We uh, did a, a celebratory toast. Um, and the guests left. So childish, yeah. And uh, later that evening, um, we were in bed, and um, I was. I had a book, and Johnny um, effectively said, "What's what's what's your fucking problem now?" And uh, at the time, we were getting advice. Yeah. From therapists, without saying what they said, um, it was important for me not to make him feel attacked we're good yeah okay uh, so I chose my words carefully I won't say what I said but I rem I remember being very careful about how I worded what I was feeling mm -hmm. um, about my birthday and ha him having missed it uh, an argument um, followed that uh, I um, got up out of bed um, Johnny's side of the bed was closer to the door than mine I, I remember him blocking the door, blocking me to get out, and kind of shoving me down, and we had a you know a verbal argument, and then that became a shoving match. I tried to shove him back. Um, I kind of felt myself retreat into the into the bedroom. At some point, he um, picked up a, a like a large, I guess it's a magnum size, not a normal size, a large size uh, bottle of champagne, and hurled it at me. Um, this time I went through a painting, and I, I loved this painting. Oh I my God! Stuff, like, right through the canvas, left a giant hole in it. Holy and, shit! Um, Magnum? Yeah, yeah we're beyond never, mega now. Never dream anymore. Um, and the the fight, the argument, the fight continued yeah. into the salon area, which was outside of our bedroom at the top of the stairs. Johnny picked up my phone. I don't know why. Uh, I don't remember what he was saying when he did it, but he picked up my phone and threw it out of the open window of Maybe the Maybe he thought you were recording again. Area. That's what I would have uh, done. Out onto the street, out onto the downtown street. That, yeah, I wonder um, why. This window overlooked. Uh, in that moment, I, I, I went, oh, no, you don't. I saw his on the countertop and picked it up and threw his immediately, like two seconds later. Okay, um, so this means he's about to do some really uh, bad stuff. Alone, because we've already set up the scale of uh, phone, which there's going to be no evidence already several times before this um, from Johnny. So I picked up his phone, threw it as well. Yeah, um, and I said that I wanted to go stay somewhere else for the evening. I left that room. She's smiling to the office. Of course, that's what I said um, before. 
we were still screaming names at each other and screaming yeah. at each other. And uh, I walk around the side of his desk, and um, the next thing I know, he has me by the hair, and he pulls me down, and exactly. kind of, I hit the side of the desk. Yep. I remember things flying off of the side of the desk that, that I hit with with my body. Yep. Um, I remember trying to fight him off of me. Of course. Um, at some point, uh, we're back in my, my main bedroom, and uh, it's my... I believe I was getting my toothbrush out of that bathroom, and uh, when I came out, we had another uh, 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 shoving match. But this one, he kind of like uh, I remember he chest bumped me. Oh in shit! In this like broy way, chest bumped me. Broy way. Floor. And when I got back up, he kind of held me down by the shoulders, down oh on the side God. of the bed, and kind of held me. Um, wrestled me down on the bed i remember i got up once or hey, twice bro. before i ended yeah. up on the bed and he grabbed me um he did this thing that he did sometimes and he taught me grab me what by a the, scene um no the evidence by the way bone both pubic both phones were out area. the window just as best i can describe it is he kind of just pushed me down held me down by it and kind of pulled me into it and um was Ask, he was asking me, kind of taunting me, asking me if I if I thought I was so fucking tough. I think you're such a fucking tough guy, huh? Are you so tough now? Look who's so tough. You want to be a man? Oh my tough god! Like a man now. This is that brutal. Ha happened for a, a bit of time. I I not quite. Holy sure. fucking um, shit! I think at some point he. Yeah, there's no evidence for at this. At some point, shortly. After that, I, I remember he was still in the apartment when this happened, but I remember yeah. kind of collapsing on the floor and being exhausted. It's just, I, I remember feeling exhausted and crying and kind of throwing in the towel, if you, if you will. I, I remember saying to him, just, can we not fight like this? Like, can we start over? Is there anything that we can do? Of course. Like, this is... Really messed She's up. She's so reasonable in trying to this, fix everything. Can yeah. Stop doing this. Just don't leave. It's my birthday. Let's just let's let's just call it couch. Let's call it truce and not have it end like this. I don't want to have it end like this. Uh huh. I was just so tired, hurt, and I remember crying and feeling ridiculous that after this I would be crying and saying these things. I'm embarrassed saying it now. Um, he responded uh, cruelly. He told me it's what I fucking deserve, and that I'd wake up every I'd wake up alone, um, and that no one would ever love me because all of this pointing to my face or body, all of this was gonna go away. No one would ever love me. My tit sag, no one would ever love me, and I Jesus I'd get used to waking up alone. Oh my God. Um, and he said, "This is all my fault. And what I deserve, what I asked for." And he left. This box, my fault. I heard yeah, it'll be him come back in. Uh, the downstairs. That's brutal. You can hear the door slam. And I remember hearing it open and thinking, "Oh God, is this going to happen again? What's going on now?" Um, and 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 then shortly after, I kind of peeked around to the top of the stairs where you can kind of peer into the lower level. And I, uh, I just see him briefly, momentarily, and he just screams at me, "Happy fucking birthday!" Oh, that's and good. Out. That's a good little scene to add in there. That's clever. And, uh, saw that he had also uh, yeah. left a note to that effect. How did he leave a note for you? I, I was written on a piece of paper, as best I can recall, but I'm not sure. And. So then, the next day, what did you We do? don't have the piece of paper, by the way. Um, it's not around. There's no piece of paper. I texted. Actually, I took. Well, yeah, there's. The, yeah, we don't know where that um, is. I woke up this, uh, that morning, the morning of my 30th birthday, and um, I woke up to my best friend crawling in bed with me um, and putting her arms around me. And uh, I remember wondering how she got how she walked in yeah um, because there's a lot of glass on the floor there's lots of glass okay 
and um, oh wow she put her arms around me and showed me a birthday video that all of my friends my childhood friends all of my loved ones made that's of course, nice stupidly the first thing i asked her is why johnny wasn't in the video because it had been recorded before it had been recorded sometime before it was clear uh and she always got to bring it back to him man and she's yep. been asking for a few months and johnny objection your honor here say um, i offered to prove the truth all matter, right so. i'll overrule go ahead um, and so I, um, I, 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 we eventually we got out of my bed and um, grabbed a few things and uh, got the bat, got the dogs. Yeah, how wasn't that um, hearsay? Left for for yeah, um, our plans, which our plans had been to go to Coachella, which is a music festival that happened. Yeah, I was just California. thinking that, like, what the fuck? Um, and that had been the plan for a while. That that's how we would go and celebrate my birthday. And I'm I remember, you know, um, as I just got I'm by. accustomed to doing, just trying to Roman, move through, move on, and I remember in vain trying to put on a brave face and have a good time, even though it was impossible. Let, let me stop you for a few things. What, if any, plans were there for Mr. Depp to join you at Coachella? Uh, he w was um, supposed to drive down, have dinner. I bet um, he didn't go because those places are shitholes. In the room, maybe do some writing or something like that in the room. It, at Coachella? At Coachella, where we were. Coachella um, happens in a different part of California than we lived in. We yeah, lived apparently in it's just hot all the time. This happens about I wouldn't go either, hours. yeah two to three hours away. Um, so I finally got my car back and, um, and I drove with my uh, mm -hmm. best friends in, in, the, in the car. And I'm going to stop you again because I just have a couple more questions before we go into that part. Okay. Uh, you said you brought the dogs. Who were the dogs you brought? Uh, Johnny's dog uh, at, at the time, Boo. Maybe uh, she could bring Pistol. them in for witnesses. They're teacup Yorkies, and I believe uh, Raquel, my best friend's dog, which is a my, oh, the one he held out the what window. What issues? Or, sorry, did you Boone held out the window with uh, bathroom problems, if you will. Oh, here Objection we go. Objection leading and relevance overruled a lot. All right, I want to hear um, this. She had eaten uh, Johnny's weed when she was a puppy, and had uh, bowel control issues. <laughs> for oh. her entire life, among some other issues. Johnny was, abuses you know, we animals. He had to take her to the vet to try to figure out. He feeds animals weed. Well, what was wrong with this dog? He um, wants them to die. Was quite like this. Um, so she had some control issues. See, they're just like, they know, exa uh, they know exactly what this shit like, is. She liked to burrow in the bed. She liked to be in the, you know, by the f foot of the bed underneath the covers. And it was um, customary that they yeah. slept in bed with us, but Boo, having the issues she had, we have to leave her in bed so that she wouldn't be encouraged to, to, to go to the bathroom, um, which would happen almost immediately once you put her down on the floor. And sometimes it happened in bed too. But, um, but yeah. So That's what dogs what, anything, do. Did you notice uh, about any bathroom issues in your bed before you left for Coachella? Well, but Raquel and I were both in, in that bed um, with the dogs, and I didn't notice yeah. anything, but we left them in the bed while we packed a bag to go to Coachella, you know, so that they didn't, so that Boo particularly didn't lose control of her, about, or, you know, didn't go to the bathroom on the floor. So you leave them in bed until you're ready to take them outside to the patio, which is their designated bathroom break area. Okay. And what if any plans were there how often did you have housekeeping at that time at your house um, the housekeepers were there every morning okay. or they came every day okay okay now we'll, we'll get you to Coachella but why did you tell Starling Jenkins that you had been involved in a prank gone wrong objection hearsay leading I said why your honor I didn't say what she said I'll sustain the objection Okay. Um, a prank gone wrong. Did you commit any kind of prank? Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. That's why she and, told the person that she why committed one. Would that not be something you would do? What? First of all, I, I don't think that's funny. I don't. What know kind what of a question is that? A woman does. I, I I was not also in a pranking mood. I had my life was falling apart. I was um. 
at a crossroads in my life that was really serious, and I had just been attacked on my 30th birthday. Of course. By my violent husband, with whom I was desperately in love, uh -huh. and knew I needed to leave. It was uh, not really a jovial time, and I don't think that's funny, period. That's disgusting. And what, if any, uh, understanding did you have of Mr. Depp coming back to your bedroom that night or the next morning? Objection calls for speculation. I, I'm okay. asking what her understanding was. No, I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Did you try to make a move with the any poop? Conversations yeah. Conversations with Mr. Depp about him coming back to the house the next day? No, Johnny didn't come back to that house. That was my. That was my. Wait, that was know, the he, poop. That was my house when when we were having any sort of problem. In fact, that was my house just ninety percent. Wait, of that the was time it because he just didn't come back i didn't even know that was not a place that johnny was going to be in that johnny it wasn't a was prank in, because you meant it for real out on my birthday and as per you're damn right it wasn't a prank did, it was he would go and stay at his west hollywood home and i would stay at the downtown uh, places he wasn't going to come back to the objection calls the blame the dog I, I think she explained her answer on that okay. one which are the yorkies like this part. big Perfect. thank you all right so let's take you to Coachella. Like, um, who drove? I drove. Okay. And who was in your Oh, my car? God. My sister, my friend, Savannah, I believe, my best friend, Raquel. Did they show it? Just no, of course my, not. My girlfriends. I, I typically surround myself with my girlfriends. It's my sport. Was there any occasion in which you were riding in the vehicle that Starling Jenkins was driving? He picked us up from Coachella in the evening when we, as a group, uh -huh. all were ready to leave. Um, that was the um, the day that we went, which was a um, which was the day that I took MDMA and mushrooms at the same time. So realized very shortly after what a horrible idea that was, considering the state that my life was in. I highly don't recommend that combination at the time. So I didn't feel like being in a crowd. I didn't no, I feel bet. like being at Coachella. I had intended to try to have a good time despite what was going on in my personal life. And I realized that that was just not going to happen. And so I wanted to go home, I wanted, meaning to be in a bed. I wanted to be, you know, I just wanted to be held by my best friend and watch a movie. And that's what we did. I didn't feel well and wanted to leave. That's cute. And when you said you, I bet I wouldn't either if I just shit on Jenkins, somebody's bed. Just you, or did you have other people? Jesus, it's awful. And when we left Coachella, it was my entire group. I wasn't ever alone with Starling. I certainly wasn't anywhere near him. I didn't have a conversation with him. I sat in the very back seat with my best friend. It was next a dog. To me it was yeah, a group right. Of us. Thank you. Um, you're under this. I, I don't okay. know. Which, this might be a good breaking. Point. All right, that's fine. Okay, ladies, let's go ahead and take our morning uh, recess. Do okay. Not discuss the uh, case with anybody, and don't do any outside research. We'll take 15 minutes. Okay. It's like, how do you blame this shit on the dog, man? Like, I don't understand that. Like, how does that even happen? Like, yeah, it's a snuff snitch. I'll, I'm gonna go back over, and, and we're gonna catch up with this because obviously a, a lot of this I missed out on, and because uh, it started earlier, so I'm gonna go ahead and start at the beginning real quick. I just got here. What did I miss? So basically, she said, "Okay, so let me explain what happened." All right. We'll, we'll All right. Come back then at 10:50. So, good? so the dog, what the dog did is Johnny accidentally because he's just such a fucking idiot right i mean you guys know johnny like he's just so dumb and he's like so abusive he's like basically a wild animal right and so johnny left his uh his weed out and so the dog ate the weed and somehow that makes the dog shit on the bed so the shit that was on the bed not only was not her shit but it was actually the dog who shit on the bed because Johnny fed it weed because he was so fucking stupid. You understand? So that's what happened. Yeah. And, and, and yes, that's exactly what it was. And, uh, of course, like, obviously this dog, she called it a teacup Yorkie. And I'm pretty sure, like, I, I know how big a teacup is, right? You, you like, have it like, so like teacups like this big. So like the dog can fit in a teacup. This is like a one or two pound dog. 
that somehow nobody can tell the difference between how much poop comes out of a dog and a person. You know what I mean? Can we DNA? No, there's going to be no way to DNA test it. Realistically, that's not going to happen. It's just, it's smaller than that. Yeah, it's a mega poop. Yeah, I mean, come on.